I saw you it. You saw what your husband did. You want me? No. Get the mic out of my face. Hey. Renee, what is, what is? But that used to be you, Jay. Until you went along and started hanging out with that corny son of a bitch, Jared. You are not a man anymore, Jay. You're not a pro wrestler anymore, Jay. You are Jeff Jarrett's little bitch. The thing that's gonna hurt me inside the most is the fact that I'm gonna have to beat you down in front of your beautiful mother. She's gonna cry for you, but not because I'm beating you, because she knows you deserve it. Because you are going to get redeemed tonight, Eddie. My man, redeem these nuts. Wow. Oh, there you go. Win or lose. No, man. no, 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 no. You talked enough. <laughs> Don't come out here and treat me like your young boy bitch, Yuda. Because I ain't no young boy, huh? You're lucky I let you breathe. I'm going to bust you up and enjoy it. But Okada, let me tell you something. You're going to be a bigger fan of mine by the end of the night. Because guess what I'm going to do to Jay? I'm gonna soften you up, you little bitch. Give me the Chris Jericho that bled buckets in Tennessee. Give me the Chris Jericho that uh, your close friend Levesque hated. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna talk now. Want us wait for music? Nah, that's not happening. Chris Jericho, you two-faced coward. His association on site. You know what that means? You can be with your wife and your kids. I'm attacking you. Garcia, Garcia, my man, I know where you live. You think I won't show up at your house, dog? So keep running. My dude, we're gonna be in New Orleans, God, and we're gonna beat your ass like junkyard dog in Butch Reed style, bitch. I've lost to Brian, I've lost to <laughs> Punk. But you know what happened? On that fan fest, give me a second for real, show some respect. Seriously, my man, you know, Steve Austin ain't here, dog, relax. I'm going to embarrass you, and afterwards you're gonna be the one giving me thanks. You're too light in the ass to mess with me, and I'm gonna show you tonight in that ring, and your other little two homeboys, do me a favor. Shut up, cause talk is cheap, partner. How about you Wednesday, bitch? You've never, never been able to get rid of me. I'm still up in your face, bitch. You call me a bum? Guess what? I'm the king of the underdogs. And, and, I'm the king of the bums, dog. So watch your mouth when you speak to me. And Eddie Kingston is a bum. Oh, great, he agrees. It's official. You know what? <laughs> not, not bad at all. You think I don't know? Excuse me, sweetie. Relax. <laughs> you think I don't know about the concession stand brawls? Mm. Brother, I grew up on that. There's something you don't know, you little hillbilly bitch. Mm. And I'm going to eat you alive. What happens to your uncle? I'm not a sports entertainer, Chris. This is a wrestling company, not a sports entertainment company. My man, go down the block. <laughs> Did you want it? That's what you said Wednesday, right? Answer me when I'm talking to you. This man was once a hero of mine. Guys like him, Samoa Joe, homicide, scumbag, two-faced, narcissistic bitch. I didn't kiss ass. I didn't become friends with the booker. Do you want to know what I hear, right? And stop smirking at me like you did the other day, or I'll smack you right off your face. Why don't you fight me on the 13th? Why don't you fight me at full gear? I'll see you on the 13th. After I'm done beating you up, do me a favor. Quit again and leave for seven years and don't come. Oh! Yeah, okay. Phoenix is in bad shape. Phoenix being loaded into the ambulance and Kingston. Kingston's very concerned. I mean, that's to Ray Phoenix. I don't want to speculate. You. I saw it. You saw what your husband did. You want me? No. Get the mic out of my face. Hey. Renee, what is, what is, you want me to fix it? I don't want you to Yeah, fix I'm going to fix it at Wembley. Watch. I'll fix it at Wembley. Uh, I mean, uh, Renee's doing her job. Because the competition sometimes doesn't want to hear their fan. And we come out here and we bust our asses. We love professional wrestling that you will not see on the other channel. You will not see legends who are respected on the other channel. You will not see...
people like me and my best friend on the other channel. We'll see you Wednesday, and we want to hear you. You don't tell me about hard work until you walked a mile in my shoes, partner. And guess what? I'm done talking, and I'm done listening. Excuse my back. No, I'm demanding that you apologize to me. Where are my manners? Matter of fact, I have something better than an apology. Give me a second. Here it is. I do not care about this sports entertainment crap, Chris. Do you know? Shut up. I swear my mother, shut up. So, ah, nah, 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 nah. You're gonna listen to me now. Look in my eyes, Chris. I live behind my eyes. I can smell the fear coming off you. You bitch, I can smell it. Are you ready to do that? Are you prepared? Nah. The match hasn't even started. And that may be a saving grace. Eddie really proud of himself right now. Right hands. Ooh. <laughs> Kingston. With me and you, Chris. To the lost. I'm trying to drown my demons again. But they know how to swim, folks. That you, Chris, have brought me back to a place that I don't want to be. You brought me back to a place where I sit in a dark room and I just think bad thoughts. And then you burnt me, Chris. You scarred my face, Chris. I don't want to be here. I don't want to do the match. I don't want to wrestle no more because I am scared of what I'm going to do to you. You guys don't understand. This is not funny to me. This is not a game to me. I hurt people. I've hurt people my whole life. I'm losing everything because you are bringing this back. And what is comfortable is burying you in the ground. What is comfortable is hurting you. Why I would see my mother bail me out of jail. Why no company ever wanted me. And Tony Khan, this is also on you. Because you can stop this. I drink to drown my demons. But they know how to swim, Chris. I went to the doctors. And he told me I have a slight tear in my MCL. And he said I shouldn't wrestle. I looked at him and told him, <laughs> I said, yeah, sure, let's, let's, let's speed this up. The reason why I don't care about me being in constant pain every single day is because on November 13th at the ECW Arena, biggest match of my life, the biggest match in Chikara's 10-year history is on that day when we crown a grand champion for the first time. 2011 has been a horrible year for me, personally and professionally. Getting kicked out of every high school I went to. Getting kicked out of two wrestling schools I went to. When I have that title in my hands, I have my redemption. I also need it because a man that we named this tournament after, Alex Weibrow, AKA Larry Sweeney, that man would have been the godfather to my children. Ladies and gentlemen, if you never watched Chikara before, if you never watched one second of pro wrestling, and you will be awed by what Chikara gives you. I'm so tired of feeling like the bad guy, and nothing I do is right. When I win the grand championship, when I pin my trainer, with the bad knee or not, because I will crawl to Philadelphia, I won't let people down no more. I am Eddie Kingston, and I will be the grand champion on November 13th. Get ready for the battle of your life! November 13th, Eddie Kingston, the last of a dying breed, will be the first grand champion. First off, I don't need you chanting my name. Listen, listen, don't make me choke you out, you know? I am sick and tired of making stars. It's about acting! Well, I'm a fighter! And I've been a fighter all